Hi guys, it's Jody here with Squiggly Doodles. Today we're gonna draw two owl friends sitting on a branch in the moonlight. Let's get started. <laughs> started with our owl friends sitting on a branch. The very first thing I'm going to do towards the bottom of my page is draw my tree branch. And if you look outside and look at trees, they're not straight lines. So I'm going to make my lines a little curvy. And one of my parts of my branch is going up towards the page. You could have yours going down. And now I'm going to copy that line and make like an outline. And I'm gonna go down. This time, I'm gonna go down on the page like that. From here, I'm gonna make another line showing the branch is branching off. And then this one's curving that way. And see, I added a little bump, and that is okay. The other thing I'm gonna do to make a little detail to my branch is I'm gonna add a twig. So I'm gonna add a twig down here. And you just add a curved line and then you can just add a couple little lines. Now to make a leaf on my twig, I'm gonna start at the end of this point, make a curved line going down, and then another curved line going down to touch. And then this one, I'm going to make a curved line going up, and another curved line going up. And I'm even gonna add a leaf at the end, another curved line, and another. And I think I'll make one more leaf over here. We'll make a little twig, and I'll just make two leaves. Curve line, and they meet. And that is our tree. If you wanted to add a couple little lines here, little squiggles, I like the, the twirly, twirlies. <laughs> Shows like there's nuts in the tree. There you go. And our twig tree branch is finished. Now let's add the fun part, the owls. So my first owl is going to be here, my second owl is going to be there, and they're both going to be different types of owls. The very first thing I'm going to do is start with this owl's ear. I'm going to make one little triangle like that. Then I'm going to draw a straight line across, that's the top of my owl's head, and then another same size triangle on that side, just like that. Now from these two points, I'm going to draw down and around. Now, you could make a really big fat owl or another little skinny owl, it's up to you. So from this point here, I'm gonna go down and around, and from this point, down and then around. And then when I get closer to my branch, I'm gonna connect it. I want it really close to my branch, but not too close to my branch, because I'm gonna add little owl feet that's sitting on the branch. So two little lines and then you're gonna make U shapes or W like a W and that's his little owl feet. Now I want to make my wings on the sides of my owl. So I'm gonna start about the middle top of my owl. I'm gonna draw a line down that curves just like that. Kind of like a squiggle line. From this point I'm just gonna come up and touch my owl. And then his other wing is kind of tucked behind him. So I'm gonna come up to where I made this wing, draw that imaginary line across, make a little dot. This is where I know the other wing's gonna start. I'm gonna go down and it's just gonna stop like that. So down and then come back up. I think this owl's wings are gonna be striped. So I'm gonna add some fun stripes here but you can do any kind of design you want, or you could leave it blank. Now here I'm gonna add some detail to its ears, two more little triangles, and now I'm gonna make the big eyes. We all know owls have really big eyes. One really big circle, and I'm gonna make this circle touch this one, and another big circle. They're pretty close to the same size, but it's okay if they're not exact. Now from here, I'm going to make one circle and another circle. And I'm going to add a little detail to this owl's eyes. 
so that when you color it, it's gonna be super fun in a circle. So I made a half circle inside of that little circle and then another circle touching. And then I'm gonna color that in. That way you can see it better too. And see how cool that is? <laughs> and I just love eyelashes. I always do my eyelashes in threes, but you can do however many you'd like. This space here, we're gonna make a nose. We're just gonna make a, a triangle going down, just like that. And my nose is gonna be striped <coughs> to match his wings. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cough. Okay, now I wanna make the fun chest part. This owl, I decided I'm gonna make a really cool design. I'm gonna make swirls like this, little, see, I just making little like flat U's but then I'm gonna connect them. Kind of like pockets, like that. Yep. Yeah. And then inside of these, you could make all different kinds of shapes that you wanna do. <laughs> and like I said later, when you color it, you can really have some fun with that owl. And then up here, I'll just make some squiggles. And that owl is done. So let's make the owl friend. We're gonna make a curved line like the top of his head. So starting right here, we're just gonna make a bump curve, just like that, kind of again, like you're gonna make a rainbow. From here, this is a little tricky, but you can do it. We're gonna start at this tip and we're gonna make three triangles pointing out like so, just like that. And same on this side, three, three little triangles pointing to the side, okay? And that's it for now, that's just the top of its head. We're now gonna draw the big eyes and the eyes are gonna fill this entire space. So we're gonna start where we left off on this point and we're gonna make a big circle like that. And then we're gonna start on this point and we're gonna make another big circle. Perfect. And then from here, we're gonna make him have a little nose, just like that. And then inside, we'll draw his eyes. His eyes will be different. We'll just do one circle inside the big circle and color that in. All right, so now we're gonna do his one wing on this side. So you're gonna get this space right here where this line met the eye, and you're just gonna draw a line going down and curve it just like that. And then from here, we're gonna draw part of his wing, kind of like his fingers. And they're just gonna be little lines like that. And then this point where we left off is gonna connect to right here where this eye is. You're just gonna draw it up. That's one side of his wing. Now we're gonna go over here where his eye is and you're gonna draw a line just like that curve it around and then you're gonna take the point and you're gonna go up to this part of his eye or you could draw it going down however is easier for you I'm gonna draw up from this point like that now we're gonna make a round line to show his belly we're gonna connect this wing to that wing so he's a little got a little fat belly and now he's just gonna have W's for feet and he's sitting on the branch. But this owl has a really long, fun tail. So we're gonna draw that tail. It's gonna start here and right where the feet are. Now, when we hit another line that we draw on, we're gonna draw behind it. So we're not gonna draw over our branch. We're gonna draw under. And he's gonna start having feathers. To show feathers, I just made little teeny triangles going out. So where we picked up our pen, draw that imaginary line and come down. And now we're gonna draw the rest of his tail. And again, I just made it look like feathers. And then from here we're this point, and connect. And he has a long tail. And I'm gonna draw some lines in his tail. Just, and then I'm gonna make his tail match his wings. So his wings also have the fun lines in them. Or if you wanted to do like, 
crosshatch like that. And draw more lines. Isn't that fun? What a cute owl. Now, let's go ahead and draw his little belly. I just picture this owl being plump and fat and he just has lots of feathers. So I'm just gonna draw lots of W's or U shapes, V shapes too, anything you wanna add to it. You could do his belly having lots of hearts if you wanted, any design you want. And there's his ruffled belly. Now, I picture these two friends hanging out at night because animals, owls, are nocturnal. So they're the type that are out at night. So let's go ahead and draw a moon up in the sky. And all that is is a crescent shape. So we're gonna make a C shape like that, but not go all the way around. From this point, I'm gonna make a point, follow it up, and make another point to connect. There's my moon. Then I'm gonna draw some fun stars. This is how I make my stars. Make one line and another line, like you're making a triangle or the letter A. Then towards the top, you're gonna draw a line across. And then all you're gonna do is connect this point to this point, like that. This point to this point, like that. And draw a couple more. And there are our owl friends sitting at night on a tree branch. As Bella likes to say, ta-da! Squiggly!